Our sun has a surface temperature of 5,778 Kelvin and is about 330 times as massive as Earth. This makes it a perfect garbage incinerator for the tens of thousands of tons of garbage sitting on our planet. So, why don't we gather all the garbage on Earth, bundle it up, and dump it into the sun? If we did, we could live in a world without trash. In theory, it sounds like the perfect solution, but what would it actually take to do this? What are the risks of dumping millions of tons of garbage into the sun? And how much would it cost? While the sun might seem like the ideal place to dump our massive amounts of garbage, there are a few simple glitches. The first is the cost. It costs $200 million to launch an Ariane 5 rocket and get its 15,432 pounds of payload into a stable orbit around the Earth. But since the world produces 1.2 trillion kilograms or 2.6 trillion pounds of trash per year, we would need to launch about 168 million Ariane 5s every year to keep the globe garbage free. And all this would cost about 33 quadrillion dollars per year. That's not exactly pocket change. And to get these rockets from the Earth's orbit to the sun, you would need to multiply that cost by at least 10 times. So, get 330 quadrillion dollars and you'll be able to throw humanity's trash into the sun, at least for one year. Even if the world had that much money, and by the way, we absolutely don't, we don't have the launch capacity. All of humanity's current spacefaring capability isn't close to what it would take to launch all the rubbish we make off-planet. Then there's the problem of launch failures. Russia's Soyuz space launch system is the most successful of all time. Its success rate is a stunning 97% for every 1,000 launches. Now apply those odds to 168 million launches when each rocket is carrying more than 7,000 kilograms or 15,000 pounds of garbage. That 3% failure rate translates to 5 million failed launches. That's not so reassuring. And what if a failed rocket was carrying nuclear waste into space? If uranium caught fire, it could stay airborne and circulate for months, dusting the globe with radioactive ash. We would be trapped in a toxic world surrounded by our own garbage. Perhaps when we have a reliable working space elevator, this might be an option worth exploring. Until then, we need to find easy ways to dump stuff. Maybe we could dump trash in volcanoes, or down a hole drilled to the center of the Earth. Maybe one day, our scientists at CERN will be able to create a black hole and we'd have an infinitely deep dump. This is fun to think about, but we'll have to continue this discussion in another episode.